Hello everyone, it's Stormy Strike here and welcome to my annual Christmas haul video. In this video I'm going to be showing all the model horse things I got and then one horse related thing. Starting off here with Dasher, this adorable little plush, which is actually the first time Briar's done a like Christmas specific little plush like this. At least for a long time, they might have done some like the, the older style ones way back in the day. His name is Dasher and he is so cute. I love his little scarf, his little cute nose, his antlers, little snowflakes on his back are pretty cute too. I, I absolutely love this little guy, he is fantastic. I also forgot to mention that I bought all these models for myself because that's what it's like being an adult, I guess. All right, I will continue on with the small things here. Here is a really cool kind of like forest green halter and lead rope from Infinity Briars. Thank you so much, Infinity. With one of the models, I ended up buying a Manny Winnie Unicorn Surprise blind bag, mostly just because I wanted another purchase to go in with said model and inside was this little guy who according to the back is called Lapis. He is a beautiful blue unicorn with a black mane and tail and a black horn which I really like this little guy he's really cute. Then with a different model purchase I got one of these prior mystery horse surprise series three i wasn't really after anything specific in this i was mostly just going to use them for bodies or whatever unless i got like the rare chase piece of course i ended up getting this little icelandic guy though who is pretty cute and i'm pretty sure i don't have him yet so he may be kept in my collection or he may end up in the body box i'm not sure yet then i have a unicorn ornament here this was the one from last year i'm pretty sure he is so beautiful i love this shade of purple on him it is so gorgeous oh my goodness he's got kind of a blue shine on his coat and he's got the uh, glittery tail and glittery mane oh my goodness so beautiful I've been wanting this guy for a little while actually, but just kind of like one of those things where I never got around to it. And then Briar kept putting it on sale and I was like, okay, I need to definitely just go ahead and buy him because he was like $10. He is just absolutely stunning. And if you'd like a size comparison, he is, I'd say, definitely bigger than Stablemate, but not by a huge, huge amount. Like, he is so cool though. I really, really love him. Then I will show the technically not model horse item here. Just some older Bella Sarah Valentines. Bella Sarah stuff isn't in uh, production anymore. I uh, was eyeing these Valentines on eBay. Went ahead and bought them because they're pretty cool. I will quickly show the different little pictures and stuff on them. This came out around the time I actually wasn't collecting Bella Sarah, so it's got some like newer artwork that I'm not as crazy about compared to like the older card artwork and stuff. But there are some really pretty Valentine's here to go with my Bella Sarah collection, which I will at some point do a video on, hopefully sooner than later. Yeah, lots of pretty Valentine's. Oh, I love that one. She is so beautiful. Kona. So I thought those were very neat. Now let's go on to the traditional scale models. There was Briar's first ever winter event called Winterfest which I actually really liked. I liked that they did that. I liked the little broadcast thing they did. Just had it kind of a lot like Briarfest that they do and all the fun online workshops. I wish I actually had the time and energy to do one of the workshops because they were all really cool. And then I did get one of the Winterfest models here who is still in his box, but I'm going to go ahead and unbox him now on video. I just didn't feel like unboxing him during Christmas, so I didn't open him up yet. Oh yeah, I guess I should show the back of his box as well. He is a portrait model, which is pretty cool. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that this model actually is glossy, and they didn't mention that on his uh, description. They really should have. I probably would have still ended up buying him anyway, but I don't know why. I just feel like he didn't really need the gloss. I think he would have been better with just a matte or satin finish. That is just my personal preference on him. I see that he does have the brand on him. There are a few that people posted did not get the brand painted on them or stamped on them rather. So I couldn't help but wonder if this guy was gonna be one of those odd variations, but he is not. He's got the normal brand on him and I will adjust the camera settings in a moment. I'm sorry, he probably looks 
very washed out right now. Here he is finally freed from his box. He does look very nice. Again, I don't know why, but I'm not really loving the gloss on him. It's not that it looks bad. I feel like it detracts from the pearly color of him because I do love these pearly colored white models like uh, Pecos and Templado. Oh my gosh, just such beautiful pearly white models. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not totally loving the gloss. Who knows? Maybe I'll take a can of matte spray to him at some point and customize him a bit. But he is still pretty, don't get me wrong about that. I'm just stating my, my personal preference, especially since he looked matte in the promo photos. He's got a nice face, just got some simple gray shading on there. He doesn't really have like a whole lot of shading and stuff, but yet he doesn't really look flat in his color either. I love his hooves, by the way. He's got beautiful hooves. I like the peach with the striping. It's really pretty. And his front hooves are just solid gray. And I do like this mold a lot. So there is that beautiful guy. Next up is a pair of models. The Unicorn Marin full set for this year. Who I absolutely love both of these. They are so gorgeous. Couldn't resist these two because they are purple and pearly and just absolutely fantastic. Briar did a wonderful job on this pair. This adorable little full has kind of like a light lavender sort of color to her and she has a blue mane and tail which i honestly didn't even really fully realize until i had unboxed her at christmas time i was like oh wait a second she has a blue mane and tail i didn't really pay attention to that in the pictures of her she's very shiny all her whites are very pearly and her hooves are a pretty gold her horn is a pretty gold Honestly, I could have been fine with this set not even being unicorns, too. They are just so pretty on their own. They didn't have to be unicorns, but I think they do look nice as unicorns. Oh, just so beautifully shaded on this model, too. I don't know how well it'll show on camera, but there's some, like, really nice highlights and shading going on. Just, just a beautiful model. And then now we move on to the mare, who is a much darker purple. And, oh gosh, she also has that really beautiful pearly white markings. I love it. Like you can kind of um, maybe see what I'm talking about. Why I'm not too crazy about the uh, Winterfest model Truno being glossed because I feel like the pearl just looks so pretty when it's in a matte or satin finish. This mare is stunning. She's also got the gold horn. As I mentioned, she's got a much darker purple going on. Her mane and tail don't really have too much of a different color compared to her body like the foal does. Although the tip of her tail is like a lighter purple. I don't mind that at all. I think she looks really beautiful as she is. Oh, and I just love her spots. They're so pretty. I know some people don't like this, but I personally like it. She actually has a lot of the same patterns as the Briarfest Special Run model Pepper. She is missing some of the spots that Pepper had, but I personally like that they reuse that pattern because I liked that pattern a lot. I also want to point out that I love her spot on her leg there. That is so cute. And then her baby does also have a repeat of patterning as well. She is actually a repeat of the Splash black and white Pinto foal who I actually got at Briarfest this past year. I just absolutely adore this set so much. I am so glad I got it. I have another boxed model here. So I am going to go ahead and unbox this guy as well. But yeah, this is Washington, by the way. Normally, I don't really go for the patriotic red, white, and blue models. But since this guy is really just a blue decorator, he was an exception for me in buying a model in this collection. Here is Washington. I also do like his name, by the way, because I love Washington State. His Appaloosa pattern is also a very nice, but he is just, wow, such a vibrant blue. I don't even know if the camera is going to quite capture it correctly because it is, it is vibrant. It is saturation turned up to the max. It is wild. <laughs> he is beautiful. I almost wasn't going to get him because of the fact that I have Magpie, by the way, who I will bring out in a moment, but he is such a different blue compared to Magpie that... I thought it was going to be worth it. He, I think he is worth it. He is gorgeous. I love the Appaloosa pattern on him. This color is fun. It's got a lot of shading and highlights going on there too. Variants in the color, like on his neck, is a lot lighter. 
kind of darker around his shoulders. He is very glossy. This is an instance where I do really like the gloss because it makes his color extremely pop. All right, let's get his brother Magpie over here. All right, here are Washington and Magpie together. I still think it's really weird that Briar came out with two blue horses on the same mold in the same year. I don't know why, I just, I still was kind of shocked by that. But I can't complain too much because I love me some beautiful decorators and I do really like this mold. I think these two look fantastic together. I'll try to get a better view for you of how different their coloring is. You can see that Washington is a very bright blue. He's not really metallic at all, but Magpie is very metallic and a very dark blue. In some lighting it even looks like black. It is also nice too that one is an Appaloosa and the other one is a Pinto. So that also makes them like different enough from each other that I feel okay having both of these guys. Oh, they are fantastic. Now I'm moving on to the second to last model in my haul here, who is actually not a model horse, but he is still a briar, which is Garrett, the animal web special for this year. He is a beautiful piebald deer. I do kind of wish that it had the whole family. Maybe we'll end up seeing the doe and fawn in a future release. But regardless, he is really cute. I was drawn for him in the first round, which is the first time I've been drawn for a Briar Web Special in a long time. I honestly almost didn't get him because of the price. He wasn't too bad, I felt like, on his own. But then when you added the cost of shipping and taxes, he ended up being kind of pricey. So I was on the fence about him, and I am glad I got him. I really like him. His face is just so cute. He's got really big, glossy black eyes. And as other people have pointed out, he's got a little hidden Mickey on his nose, which is so adorable. I don't know if that was intentional or not by who designed his paint job, or if that was just kind of a happy little accident, but I love it. His markings are just gorgeous. I feel like this is a really nice copy of this model too. His markings are all really crisp. His horns are also in pretty good shape. I know some people ended up with some wonky uh, antlers, I mean not horns, but some people ended up with some wonky antlers on their deer. He looks really nice though. His color's nice. He's very cute. One of the other things that made me decide to go ahead and buy this guy, by the way, was the fact that I knew my mom would have loved him too. In fact, I was looking at, it's kind of dusty, I'm sorry, but I was looking at this set of deer that was actually my mom's when I was trying to decide whether or not to get him. And I was like, oh, I just have to get him. He's too cool. And he actually will look nice with these as well, which I'll probably unbox them at some point, but in the meantime, they will stay in their box. So now for my last Christmas haul model, who actually came after Christmas, it is the Christmas surprise model, who I was hemming and hawing about buying as well, mostly because Briar did not show pictures of him. They said the colors in the mold, which the mold already right away. I was like, hmm, I do love the Huck mold, so maybe I'll get him. I was eventually convinced to just go ahead and buy him, and I'm so glad I did. And now I will show you which variation I got, although I did do an Instagram live of him, so you might have seen him already. It is the green filigree color. I am uh, kind of holding him up because I don't want to put his stand on right now because he is unfortunately going to have to end up going back in his box and not displayed right now. And I don't want to mess with putting the plastic stand in and taking it out. Sorry, you're going to get wibbly wobbly things of him. I was really worried I wasn't going to like the green for this model, but Briar did a great job on this shade of green. I have not been the hugest fan of like some of the other green models they've done. Like they just haven't really felt Christmassy or just were kind of okay to me, but not really that exciting. This green is so pretty though. One of the best parts is the fact that it is so sparkly, which it looks even more beautiful in person, I think. Pictures don't really do it justice and I don't feel like the camera really is doing it justice either. It is such a pretty shimmery, sparkly, glittery green. I love it and I'm happy I got this variation. I was honestly going to be happy with any of the variations except for maybe the solid red. I wasn't completely sold on that one, but all the other ones I thought were so stunning. So I'm happy to have this beautiful, beautiful green boy. 
The funny thing is, I actually did used to have the Ivy Flash Christmas Day model, but I ended up selling him. I didn't necessarily ever regret it or anything, but I feel like I ended up with a better version of that same model here with this guy. Oh, I love him so much. The only bad part of getting this model is that now I'm probably going to want to get the red filigree one to match someday. Although not right now. As much as I'd like the red, I'm not going to look to buy him right now because I'm a little tapped out on spending money on briars right now, but maybe for Briar Fest I'll keep an eye out for the red filigree to pair with this guy. Here is my Christmas model horse haul all together here. This ended up being a super nice haul this year. They are all very lovely models. If you want to let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas this year, I'd love to hear it. Also, FYI, I will be sharing my top five or ten, not sure yet, uh, model horse purchases of 2023 in my next upcoming video, which is going to be a lot. It's kind of like a mishmash of a bunch of different things. And we'll also include like New Year's model horse related resolutions and all kinds of stuff. That video will come out sometime, hopefully in January, so keep an eye out for that. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy Yule, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrated this month. And depending on when you see this video, I hope you have or had a great New Year's as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you around soon. Bye everyone!